origins. A city is not a place of origins. It is a place of transmigrations and transmogrifications. Cities collect people, stray and lost and deliberate arriva. Origins are rehabilitated and rebuilt here. A torturer in Chile becomes a taxi driver. An English thief becomes a stock hawker. An Eritrean warlord becomes a bicycle courier. An Indian businessman, a security guard, a Hong Kong policeman, a waiter, a sixth generation Ukrainian girl, a murderer, a teacher from the Caribbean, a housekeeper, a farmer from Azores, a construction worker. A city is a place where the old migrants transmogrify into citizens with disappeared origins who look at new migrants as if at strangers forgetting their own flight. And the new migrants remain immigrants until they too can disappear their origins. Belonging. A friend of mine told me this story. It was Emancipation Day 1998 in Kingston, Jamaica. The Prime Minister of Ghana was on a state visit. He was making a speech to a great gathering for these celebrations when a delegation of Rastafarians requesting to speak to him pressed toward the stage. He continued speaking about the wonderful developments in Jamaica, the long way they had come from slavery, etc. The Rastafarians continued their urgings to have a word with him. Security tried to keep them back, but they pressed on toward the stage. Finally, the prime minister addressed them again, declaiming his admiration for the country. They, cutting him off, said to him in exasperation, but we want to go home. Home meaning Africa. Home. I was never sure that I wanted to go home. I liked the streets of the city. I liked other people's houses, other people's lives. I would look into a yard and imagine there a life unlike mine. I did not imagine this because mine was unhappy. I only imagined it because it was possible to imagine. Home suggests order and routine, tradition, family. Someone else's order struck me as fascinating, truthfully suffocating. I would pass by those same houses at night and feel a sense of suffocation, enclosure, cloister. Houses with a single light, perhaps a bit of the radio playing, a child's voice. These houses, so secure, seemed stifling. It was as if they said that there was no more about the world to happen, no more to know. Too much has been made of origins. All origins are arbitrary. This is not to say that they are not also nurturing, but they are essentially coercive and indifferent. Country, nation, these concepts are, of course, deeply indebted to origins, family, tradition, home. Nation states are configurations of origins as exclusionary power structures, which have legitimacy based solely on conquest and acquisition. Here at home in Canada, we are all implicated in this sense of origins. It is a manufactured origin, nonetheless, playing to our need for home, however tyrannical. This country, 
in the main, a country of immigrants, is always redefining origins, jockeying and smarming for degrees of belonging, erasing aspects of complicated origins by shedding accents, shedding dress, shedding tastes, shedding tyrannies, taking on other aspects of other complicated origins, no matter the new tyrannies. Entry into nation and therefore home pervades the public discourse. <laughs> 